What is going on guys? Ben Galina here coming back at you with another video today. We are on MLB The Show 18 Diamond Dynasty for more God Squad action. I've changed around the team a little bit as you can see our ace is now player of the month Justin Verlander whom I've acquired from this May monthly awards uh, program and his 92 overall card is very very good. I've had some people that say hey is it really that much of an upgrade over his 90 or excuse me his 86 I believe and the answer is yes. Now, will Justin Verlander get a better card down the line, or a Tigers version at least? I would say absolutely. He'll get a very good card, hardware probably. Uh, but this card is a significant upgrade over his Diamond, his Live Series Diamond. Has like 83, 83 for hitting K per 9. This one has 96, 88. It is a significant upgrade. He throws hard enough. Has that slow 12, 6. He's got a slider. He's got a changeup. It's a very good looking card. We've also added Labor Torres to the team. Looks like an absolute monster at second base. As you can see, my lineup is very right-handed dominant right now. Uh, but that's just the way I'm going to set it up for right now. I think a lot of these guys can hit uh, lefties and righties just fine, so it doesn't really matter. And this also could be the debut of Glaber Torres. It most likely will be, unless we do happen to randomly get Justin Verlander. And we got Vlad back in the lineup. I've been loving this Josh Donaldson. I've been using him in BR. And he only has 29 plate appearances, but he's hitting 423 ridiculous average four home runs with him so i figured why not give him the start at third base manny machado also jd martinez is a beast but i'm gonna hit jeff bagwell four and then go jd uh and then we'll go el gary and manny machado a star studded lineup with a very solid bench as well so we do have some lefties on the bench all righties in the uh, starting lineup first time i believe i've ever done that currently 61 and 15 my average is trash looking to get that up we're gonna play at fenway because we got the green monster going on. Hopefully we can pull some home runs over the green monster. And let's go ahead and try to get our 60 second win as we introduce a few new players to the God Squad. All right, playing the Bridgeton Bulldogs. This name kind of seems familiar. Hopefully this guy isn't really, really good. We got Jake Arrieta on the mound facing Chris Sale at Fenway. That sucks a lot. Hanram, gold version, KB, Jim Edmonds, JD Martinez. Carlos Stanton, Chase Utley, Harmon, Killebrew, El Gary. It's a pretty good team. The only one I'm not really worried about for the most part is Chase Utley. And that card does hit pretty well against lefties. And Hanram doesn't have all that much power. But his lineup is pretty juiced. Despite having uh, some low overalls in there. So as you guys can tell from the title, uh, this is the Glaber Torres debut. I don't think I'm going to do a debut for Josh Donaldson. I mean, this is it. But he's not going to get his own personalized video. He's a really, really good player, though. I would highly recommend you guys pick him up. I'm just hitting so well with him in BR. You know, ranked seasons is a little bit of a different animal. But if he can do any of the production that he's showed me in BR so far, he'll be awesome as we get Glaber going for the first time. And I cannot see the ball. <laughs> Here we go, Glaber. That's a foul ball. Just missed that one just early. A little bit on it. I'm sorry, guy. That's a bad pitch. I, I'm trying. The ball is very hard to see out of the hand of Chris Sale. But we're doing the best we can. Mike Trout gets a little bit of hold of that one. Don't think it's going to get out, though. It's going to be a fly out pretty much to the wall. 369 feet, something like that. I need this game to get late very quickly. But Vlad's going to fly out. A little bit deep to left field there, about maybe 275 feet. Not that it's completely relevant. A little bit underneath that one, maybe. But the sooner things get to nighttime, the better against Chris Sale. I cannot see a damn thing. If there was ever a lineup I made that was meant to hit a lefty, it would be this one. We're going to try to be a little bit more patient because the ball is so difficult to see. I'm trying to get this game uh, later into the evening as quickly as possible here. But it will be... Two and one count? I don't know why I felt like I had three balls already. But I'll take a walk with Jeff Bagwell. Got the backdoor slider going. And we'll take ball four. Jeff Bagwell reaches base for former MVP here in Josh Donaldson. And we're swinging first pitch. Going to be deep to center field. And I don't think that one's getting out. We're going to try and tag, though. He throws to the cut. We got it. Aggressiveness pays off. Jeff Bagwell gets to second. 
And that's a ball that I centered up perfectly with good timing and was not rewarded. I didn't mean to go on that. He's going to intentionally walk Manny Machado to get to the pitcher. Jake Arrieta. We know he has a little bit of a bat. We have not seen my first pitcher home run yet. I'm swinging away. I'm not really taking. Well, they're going to be over here. I am. Want my first pitcher home run. I'm tempted to power swing, but it's a 3 0 count. I might stay down the middle and power swing. Oh, I didn't move my PCI. I don't know how it jumped. All right, 3 2. And he strikes me out. Uh, frustrating. If I can land this, this sinker, we're going to be in business. Wow, that's a strikeout pitch. He went after it, though. Let's see if we can chase him or get him to chase on a slider. That's going to be a great spot for it. And he chases. Strike three. Fastball up and in. Here we go. Nope. Had to adjust. Glaber Torres shoots that one right back up the middle, and he is on base. For the first time, hitting 500 for the God Squad now. I don't remember what the missions are, but I do need a stolen base with Glaber at some point. I don't remember, but I think we should be able to take it here. He slide steps. We might have had it. And there's Mike Trout the other way. Hit and run works to perfection. And he is going to throw into second base. We're sending Glaber home. And we got to run. He keeps trying to get that outside fastball past me. Almost had it going that time. There's Jeff Bagwell with a frozen rope to the green monster. I'm going to test John Carlos Stanton's arm. He's throwing straight to second. It's a bad throw. And Bagwell is in there with a double for Josh Donaldson. We got to keep that average above 400. A hit here would be awesome. I think he's going to try and get a fastball by me. And we're going to draw a walk. All right, so runners on first and second. Two outs for J.D. Martinez at his now home ballpark of Fenway. This guy's got me too early on the slider. Oh, my goodness. Just on top of that. Third out. Gary Sanchez has probably been my... You know, best and most consistent player over the course of MLB The Show 18. Don't like him going 0-for-1 with a strikeout. Especially when looking. I'm usually always swinging the bat over taking pitches, but... You know, trying to wear out Chris Sale a little bit, but he's in a good count. 1-2. and two. Oh my god. I know I just missed that one. That's so frustrating when you get your pitch... And you're not really sitting on it, but you know, you're ready for it, ready to attack, and you just miss, as you can see. Just missed that one. And maybe a little bit early on that one. I don't know if that's going to carry. Looks like it might a little bit, and that is off the wall and a double for Manny Machado. A little bit early on that one, maybe. I'm, I can get Manny Machado in with Jake Arrieta. Infield's in, but man, that's tough. Jake Arrieta is going to fly out to center. Maybe could attack, probably not. How much I missed that one by. Okay. Come on, Glaber. He had a home run tonight as I record this. And that's it! Glaber Torres! Get out of here, Glay Beast with a Glay Bomb! On a Lansdowne Street over the Green Monster. Let's go. I deserved a home run that inning. Well, I don't know. I centered a ball up with Arietta with good timing that didn't quite get out. But uh, Glaber Torres showing out in his debut. I know Healy. You guys watch Healy, Healy 6. Check him out. He hit uh, two home runs with Glaber Torres in his debut. This one's going to be played off the wall by the center fielder. Mike Trout's going to probably have three, if not more. And that's certainly an inside the park home run for Mike Trout, who's been on fire in real life as of late as well. I know against the Mariners, he had two home runs in back-to-back -back games. So four in the two is crazy. But yeah, I'm trying to show up Healy. Or at least match him. I need Glaber Torres to hit another home run. Pretty good at bat, though. Chris Sale's pitch count is elevating quickly. 
And that's a bomb. Vladimir Guerrero, the no doubter, deep to center field at Fenway. And that is one of the longest home runs you're going to see here. That's got to be like 430 feet at least. And I think we might have seen the last of this guy slash Chris Sale. And that is 447. Oh my goodness. And we're going to see a new pitcher. Is this Pat Neshek? All right. This guy's having his way. Throws it again. And that is laced again. Almost deja vu with Jeff Bagwell. Who's going to hopefully leg out another double for us. And this time, he will. Just barely. And he's going to throw behind Josh Donaldson. Throw to third. Bagwell's hosed. No. I don't think that one slipped. I think he was throwing at uh, Josh Donaldson out of rage there. And I, I took the bat out of his hands. I thought I would have had it easily. It was, that was such a weird play. It kind of clipped off the catcher's glove a little bit. I don't really know. I, that's annoying. All right. And El Gary home run is going to help me out here. Oh, that's laced in a right field. That's over the head of the right fielder and off the wall. Gary Sanchez certainly going to think about three. And by Gary Sanchez, I mean me. I'm thinking three all the way. Gary Sanchez. Errant throw allows him to reach third with ease. And here's Manny Machado. Probably going to see an intentional walk here with two outs. And we are. Jake Arrieta is going to hit, though. Arietta, That one's through. And we're going to keep Machado actually at second. And that is a bad throw to third. We would have easily had it. Still probably could have. But I'm content with first and second. Two outs for Glay Beast. Glaber Torres. Oh my god, really? I felt like I was going to crush that. I guess I just missed. Jeff Bagwell killing it. And I don't know what happened there. Felt like I was all over that one. Pretty weak contact. Yeah, just laid on it. Man. Early? What's going on there? Early. You're killing me. Missed it again. Was I early on that one? I don't think so. Gary Sanchez with a laser beam out to dead straightaway center field. An absolute bomb. That one hung right over the middle, and I crushed it. And he's going to throw at Machado to get to Arietta. Machado's reached base all times tonight. Two intentional walks, a hit by pitch, a double the only time he hasn't been, I guess, effectively walked. And we got a single with Arietta. He has an RBI as well. I'm really trying to hit a home run with a pitcher. We might mercy roll this guy, though, so. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Just missed. I want the pitcher home run so bad. All right, I have effectively one inning to mercy this guy. If I score two runs in this inning, it is all over. Oh, my God. Thought that was going to drop right down the middle. Trout's PCI gets so small. It's really annoying. Throw me a fastball. 12-6. All right. Throw me a fastball. I'm locked in right now. This one's going out. Damn it. Laser beam right at the right fielder. Just late, unfortunately. Otherwise, that thing is an absolute goner. Not a great start. We're going to go with Vlad. It's not going to beat that one out either. Yep. Two quick outs here. Not looking like a mercy rule. However, we got Jeff Bagwell up. He's a guy that's been on base a lot so far. And that's going to be another instance of Jeff Bagwell getting on base. Single to go with his two doubles. And we do have a chance now. Josh Donaldson. This is a man that could do some damage in a hurry. I'm not, I'm not going to do anything with that. Let's be real. Quick 0-2. I'm trying to hit a walk-off. I want this walk-off so bad. 
I'm going with Jeff Bagwell again. Fuck it. He's there. All right. 2-2. Two, two. No! It's going to be right back up the middle. The walk-off hopes are still alive. I thought that was going to be an out. Also, the reason I screamed no... I didn't scream, but he has no. The reason I said no was uh, I was a pitch to hit, and I missed it. No! That was a pitch to smack, and I missed it. Story of my life. All right. Come on, JD. Gap shot could end the game. I'll take that instead. JD Martinez at Fenway walks it off. The no doubter to left field. And that is ball game. Game call due to Mercy Rule 11 to nothing as we improve to 62 and 15. What a fun game. Arietta gets the player of the game. Uh, I guess not that surprising. Only struck out three through eight. Only allowed two hits, though. You guys, Glaber Torres, home run. Gary Sanchez, triple, homer. Mike Trout, homer. Bagwell, two doubles, a single. I mean, you could choose a number of these players, but Glaber Torres fighting right there for player of the game. 15 hits through eight innings. We're seeing the ball pretty well. But that is going to do it for me, guys, in this game. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. I would say, overall, Glaber Torres' debut, overwhelming success. Take it easy.